Hi everyone, this is Rashid Juma from ITLEC. Today we'll answer some questions related to Kubernetes. What's Kubernetes? What's the Kubernetes architecture? And in the end of the day, we'll have a demo about uh, how to install Kubernetes. Okay, in uh, one single machine, uh, bare metal. Okay, Yo, so let's start. This is me. Okay, first of all, what is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is an open uh, source system for container orchestration. And it gives us uh, container management. So well, all of us uh, hear about container management, but what is container management? Container management consists of a lot of things. For example, provisioning and deployment that containers, configuration and scheduling, resource allocation, container availability, scaling and removing containers based on balancing workloads across your infrastructure, load balancing and traffic rounding, monitoring Kubernetes health, configure applications based on the Kubernetes in which they were run. And only it uh, keep interaction between uh, containers secure. So uh, this is uh, what is uh, container management. Okay, so also uh, we have a number three, it is a deployment management. So it is deployment management, it hel helps us deploy containers uh, across a pool of computer resources. For example, some applications need high RAM, other need uh, needs uh, SSD hard disk. It is what we call resource allocation. We have also uh, scaling management. Scaling management uh, it helps us in scaling uh, our um, um, environment. It makes it, uh, make it easy to scale up or down or auto scale. And we have uh, networking. Kubernetes gives us networking, provides a framework for managing and controlling your containers network communication. And about security, Kubernetes offer a variety of features that give you the ability to build more secure applications, for example, uh, uh, secrets and the certificates uh, and others. Uh, for, uh, for number seven, uh, configuration management, uh, hel hel it helps us uh, to manage application and to com configure it uh, to, and to store all your configuration uh, separated from your uh, containers. For example, we have config map. Uh, also, uh, Kubernetes uh, has been developed by using Go language. Okay, so Kubernetes is uh, managed by Cloud Native Computing Foundation. It's part of the Linux Foundation. Uh, Kubernetes like uh, it, it have more than 77,000 stars on GitHub, more than 3,000 contributors on uh, contributors on GitHub as well. Uh, generally, it's the second biggest project on the GitHub after Linux. So it, it's, uh, the community is crazy about it. A lot of uh, uh, contributors, a lot of uh, stars, for this uh, project containers. So what is the use case for uh, Kubernetes? As we said, Kubernetes is an container orchestration. So it inherits all the uh, benefits and uh, cons or bruise almost from the uh, containers. So, for example, uh, 
uh, we can we if, if you have a lot of containers so it, to manage it uh, yourself it will be a crazy job so we use this tools for managing them so general use cases okay to uh, solve the you know i am a developer and i can't tell I, I I heard or said this word. It worked on my machine. It worked. It was working in my machine. It it's uh, oh look in my machine. But if you are using uh, Kubernetes for sure, uh, if it's working on your machine, it is will work on other machines. Okay, and it helps in uh, migrating infrastructure. It helps uh, a lot a lot in microservices based architecture actually you know the, the race of kubernetes and the containers because of the race of microservices based uh, or microservices uh, applications and the high demand for it uh, if you want to make uh, elastic architecture kubernetes is very good for you uh, you can monitor you can scale out you can scale in uh, Kubernetes as well is uh, self-healing architecture. So if it uh, goes down for any reason, you can monitor it, you can terminate it, you can even redeploy. And as we said before, we you, you can scale out or scale in. Okay. Deploying uh, via CI CD pipeline, it, uh, which uh, you know, uh, very uh, popular by DevOps. Okay, so you can uh, push changes, detect the changes, and redeploy. Okay, uh, before we before go to uh, Kubernetes architecture, we 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 should know what this pods mean. Pod is the smallest uh, unit in. Uh, in, in Kubernetes architecture, puts uh, maybe uh, one or more uh, containers. So one or more containers con uh, ca can be uh, existed inside one pod. So actually, and uh, for your info, uh, it is uh, it is recommended to have one container only. Uh, in, in one boat, but actually you can do a lot. You can put multiple containers. Okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, we have this very important uh, screen uh, which or, or diagram about Kubernetes architecture. First of all, in this architecture, we have like uh, here this, this part, call it control plane control plane or master node in uh, as well okay and this one is node only node or you can wor say it worker node okay so uh, control plane uh, or uh, master node consists of, consists of uh, multiple uh, components the first one here it's uh, etcd it's like the database for kubernetes it stores objects and config configuration information after that here we have controller controller manager maintain it its main job to maintain the cluster handles node failure replicating components maintaining the correct amount of bots so it's like actually it is uh, responsible for a lot okay and here's a scheduler this the scheduler its main job to uh, detect which bot to assign to which node based on resource requirement and this is a big uh, shape here it's uh, it acts as the gatekeeper gatekeeper to the cluster 
by handling authentication and authorization, request validation, mutation, and the ad admission control in addition to being the front end to the back end database. So this one is the main component responsible for any communication. If you can see, it is like, you know, the center. Okay, so here is in, in the node or worker node, we have uh, multiple uh, components. One of them, it's like uh, container runtime. Okay, this one, container, container runtime, it uh, runs and manages the Kubernetes on the node and talk to the AB, server API. So, also we have here the Kubelet. Kubelet here is uh, a very important uh, component. It acts as the node agent, which is responsible for managing the life cycle of every bot on its host. So this one, okay, if, if anything happened in here, it will send it to a uh, Kubelet API server. Okay. Here is uh, like uh, kubectl. We didn't uh, speak about it. It is like uh, our CLI uh, command line will we'll, we'll show you now after uh, during our demo or in the, in the end of our demo. We also have uh, here like load balancer, load balancer usually provided by a uh, cloud provider. And here is you or me or whatever, end user. Okay. So let's now go and uh, start the uh, deployment. Okay. Here is the, um, I will show you here. Here I I like you know I noted everything. We'll uh, we'll start our deployment using VirtualBox uh, uh, 6.1. Okay, uh, it's uh, for RAM hard disk 15. I'm using Ubuntu 20.04 LTS Docker. Okay, uh, so not that one. Okay, here we go. It is the same, okay? Same virtual box, Ubuntu and Kubelet 1.21. Uh, okay. Okay, so let me show you here my virtual machine. If you come here, here is the setting I have here in, uh, in system. I assigned four RAMs. Here I assigned four CPUs and in storage it's normal settings and network is very important. I have first one NAT and second one host only. NAT to communicate with internet and host only so I can speak it from my uh, laptop. Okay, so let's start. Okay. Here, uh, Mobax stream uh, component, uh, component. Uh, I usually uh, use it. So if we make it like that and show you here. Okay, so we have, uh, as we said, we, we may have in our cluster one uh, or multiple uh, master node and one or multiple uh, worker node but in this demo we'll have only one and uh, we will install all the components uh, on this only one virtual machine so uh, first uh, first one let's load uh, those uh, modules uh, those modules is mentioned uh, from uh, the official documentation okay okay here is 
here we go. So this by by editing this, we make sure every time we restart, okay, those modules are loaded. But to load them right now, let's write those commands as well. Here we go. Let's make it like that so we have bigger screen. Yep. Very good. Okay. Sorry. We are in step number three. Okay. This is very important for network uh, to edit some configuration in the network. Okay, let's apply those conf uh, network configuration now. Let's install uh, container D. Container D now it's, uh, we can say it is a re uh, Replace for Docker, but actually it Docker part of Docker components are container D. So we will not install Docker. Docker has a lot of things, even has its own orchestration tool, Swarm, if you, if you know or heard about it. Okay, let's create a copy of this. It is uh, will make uh, default configuration directory here it's still loading so i will come back after it is finished it is already finished so let's create the folder default folder uh, default for configuration folder for kubernetes uh, the container d yep After that, we will uh, copy or create a default configuration in this folder, like that. Let's restart uh, container D now. And let's disable swap. Uh, swap is a feature in Linux. Okay. Here are some supportive uh, libraries. For example, uh, uh, transport HTTPS kill. So let's install it. Let come back after it's finished. Yep, finished successfully. So now, uh, for security purposes, uh, let's uh, run this command. This command to make sure that our package are not uh, modified. After that, let's add the Kubernetes repository. Then let's update our system here. And after this, we will install our uh, Koblet, KubeEDM, and KubeCTL. We already speak about them in the architecture. Yep. If you wanted to get the latest of those components, you can run uh, this command, but uh, I prefer to run it with uh, a specific version, so you can know exactly which version, because in the future you may want to, to upgrade, uh, and for upgrade uh, there is a specific process. 
Okay. And here to prevent only uh, any unattended upgrade or automatic automatic upgrades. It is very important this one because we don't want any automatic upgrade. We upgrade must be uh, uh, prepared and planned, and we we should know exactly what we'll do. So we make it on hold for Q plus. Cube ADM. Cube ADM is a tool which managing our installation. So all the above uh, steps uh, specifically for any uh, uh, node, master node or worker node, but this only for uh, control plane or master node only. But as we uh, said before, it's all uh, all in one machine. So I will run it here as well. After that, uh, this command will ask us to run those three uh, commands. We'll, we'll see now. Okay. It will print for us those three commands. Here we go. It is uh, already completed. Okay. And if you can see, it asks us to run those three lines. So let's paste them here. Now let's. Uh, install Calico Calico's uh, scene I okay here we install it so scene I uh, means container network interface plugin okay it's responsible uh, for port networks it's used for port to port communication okay Calico's run installed successfully so if you want now to check if calico working or not you can come here and click this one to see okay perfect it's running we have uh, here calico yes yeah, some containers are still in initializing phase okay Okay, all of them are running now. Okay, if we want to add uh, more uh, worker node, we we can go and uh, here's this one. This one will uh, print to us the joining com uh, command, so we can copy it from uh, master node and paste in the worker node here. This command. Okay, so but uh, if, if you want to make it all on one uh, machine, this is what we will do. We should untaint. Taint here means uh, I labeled this node to not be uh, ready to host any ports. So when I copy this, it will remove this labels. So now I can uh, install to any of them. So uh, here it's running, everything it should be fine. We already completed the installation. If you let's now go and install uh, this one dashboard UI. Before that, if you want to do this, so let's go to run engine x image engine x okay. so let's cube ctl get board okay so it is working fine so let's now install the 
dashboard to install the dashboard this is the command here copy paste here so let's proxy or if you want to uh, access it from anywhere you can use it from here this one so let's make it this one so now uh, dashboard is installed to test, to test the dashboard so let's do this I will log into my machine here let's close this close this one two this is my password <laughs> okay Let's open uh, here. Yep. There is the installation. This is Docker, and if I click here, this is the Kubernetes. I click here just to uh, copy the URL. So you can do the same using this one. If you can here copy. So here we go. It is working. It needs, uh, but you can't log in. It needs signing in. So to generate it, we need to have, uh, we need to create a user dash board admin. Uh, okay. So I will create a user here. CMG. And after that, let's bind cluster rule admin to this new generated user. Very good. Let's get uh, secrets and make sure it is working. Okay. Admin, where our dash? Yeah, dashboard admin. Very good. So let's copy it here and paste it here. And after SE, we have this one copy and paste. SE token dash. Yep. Here we go. This is our token. Let's copy it. Yep. Copy. Yes, let's paste it here. Paste login. Mm, whatever. I don't want to save it. Okay. Here we go. Congratulations. Dashboard is working fine now. Okay. And here, if I have anything here, secrets. Yeah, our secrets. I already created one board, uh, Engine X. Okay, board not yep. Working, uh, it's working fine. Okay. So after installing dashboard, our uh, last step will uh, creating the or installing uh, Angus Engine X. So this is very very simple one. Just copy this uh, line. And paste it here. Let's create another command or terminal window. Okay, it is carried containers are uh, is creating in the process. Okay. Okay. Compl 
eat it. Yes. Yeah, it is finally it is running now. So finally we already installed everything successfully. Thank you for watching. In case you have anything, just send it to me on Rashid at ITLEC. Thank you again. Have a nice day. Bye.